Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another amazing video for you guys. So we are actually playing with the new Brock Star Power today. Now I just got him in the shop and to go over what his old Star Power was, it was just, you know, he had his basic shots. Nothing changed at all except uh, just for like a really small area. Um, there would be 300 damage per second of like a little bit of a flame. It lasted for two seconds, but now what it is, is Brock loads a fourth rocket into his launcher, increasing his ammo capacity and discarding, whatever, that part's kind of irrelevant. Hey, irrelevant. Basically the fact is, he has four shots now instead of three, and some of you might be thinking, you know, that's not that big of a deal, you know, it's just an additional shot, but that is huge. It's a really, really good star power. I think it's going to be one of the best in the game. Um, enough talking though, let's hop into the game and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the first game. We're going to be facing Colt Double BB, which is actually a really interesting comp. Usually you see um, a lot of tanks here now. Just looking at the four bars, it looks a little bit funny, something that we're definitely not used to within Brawl Stars. We've never seen four bars before, so it's pretty cool to see it for the first time. But besides that, that's really the only effect that's going to change with the star power. So you guys are going to see Ash and Jigsaw doing a really good job, uh, probably for the entirety of this game, specifically Ash, since he does counter both of the BBs. Let's see if we can get a shot there okay we weren't able to get that kill but we're just gonna move up and break this wall over here we're gonna be able to hit the bb a couple times so that's really good and we're just gonna be shooting away at the safe so they currently have a damage advantage but i don't think they can do too much with a bb on safe it's just not something that destroys the safe so we're able to get two taps over here on this bb we're just gonna shoot our super towards the safe oh jig super is gonna be um canceled by that bb shot so we were able to kill one of them well, to be honest, we were able to kill the other one as well, but, you know, she just came back to life. So we're just going to super the save. Hopefully we can get some shots on the BB as well. We weren't able to, but we're going to hit a couple shots after that. We're going to be working our way to a charge super. Now, it might be a little bit hard to get positioned back, but once we kill one, I think we'll be fine. And just saying that we're able to get a kill, it looks like Jigsaw is on the safe. He's going to go down, but it's just going to take me one tap. That's going to be it, and that's going to end the first game. So that was a really good first game over there, just to kind of show you guys the four shots and how big of a difference it can make. It really does, because people expect you to only have three shots with your Brock, and they're not used to four shots, so it's really broken super early on. Um, let's hop into the second game. Let's see if we can face some tanks, so I can show you guys how useful Brock is now actually against tanks. Let's hop into it. Okay, so here we go into the second game. We're going to be facing Leon, another BB, and a Daryl. Now, something that's very interesting about Brock is before he did a really good job against Brawlers who had, like, a little bit lower than 4k or um, or 3k health just due to the fact that you can walk up and auto-aim three times and you'd be able to grab that kill. Now, you can actually kill people who have 6,000 HP just because you have those four shots. So, it looks like the Leon has snuck on our save. Gonna be able to finish off that Daryl over there. It looks like we're just gonna leave the Leon because none of us really just want to run back. It's a little bit boring, and he's not gonna do too too much damage as long as we're all alive. We'll be fine. Uh, Ash is gonna go down, so at least it's gonna disallow the um, the Leon to continue doing damage. We're just gonna walk up over here. We're gonna be able to kill that BB, and we're just gonna super the safe over here. Gonna get a few shots off. We're doing some really really good work to the safe over here. We have it pretty low. Just gonna go here and help out Ash. Obviously, there is a BB over here, so we kind of want to stay away from that. Okay, watch this. I think we can... No, we can't four-shot this. We can almost four-shot that, but we're not yet able to. So we're going to get a good super over here. Going to allow some room for Ash to go down the middle. He's going to die, but we're going to be able to kill the BB. One-shot the save, and that's going to end it. So we did an insane amount of damage that game before. This new star power, Brock wasn't even viable really on this map. And now you guys can see I'm just completely dominating with him. And to be honest, putting the team on my back and playing. So really good playing, even though by Jigsaw and Ash. But the Brock is definitely what carried it this game. Let's hop into the third game. Let's hope for some similar results. And let's see if we can still keep flexing that new star power and get those dubs. Okay, so here we go into our third game. And this is going to be our first... Really good game where you guys are going to see us facing double tanks, which used to be Brock's weakness, as he just didn't have as much damage as they did. So it was a little bit hard. Now it looks like they're going to be sneaking up one of the sides here. So this actually has me a little bit intrigued. It looks like the Primo snuck up a side. We are able to get a kill, and it looks like there's going to be a bolt on our safe, which might not be good. A bolt or a Primo. It actually might have been a Primo. We were very close to the three tap there, but we weren't able to get it. So it looks like we're just going to be defending against a Primo that's about to jump in. Hopefully Jigsaw is able to get a stun on him. He's able to hit that. I'm going to let him get the kill so it charges his star power. 
Just gonna super right over here because that's where the Brock is. We're able to get four hits on him, which means we basically have our super again. There you go, we're able to get it, and we're just gonna super the safe. Uh, hopefully the bull runs into a shot. Doesn't look like he's going to, but we're gonna be able to get a pretty easy auto aim kill over there on the Colt. And you guys can see, you know, we have our super again, so we're we're about to just rotate our supers here. We're just gonna super the safe. Hopefully we get a couple of hits. We weren't able to, but we're able to get that uh that bull down. Sorry for a little bit. Uh, of a miscue there, but anyways, we're able to win that game in literally a minute, which is pretty unreal. We've been able to dominate with this comp and with the Brock basically throughout the entirety of the video. So we're going to play two more games. Hopefully we can go 5-0 on the video. Let's hop into the next game and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And we're going to be facing Double Tank Shelly. So this is going to be a real challenge. They actually triple counter Jigsaw. So this one might be a little bit tough for us. Um, okay, so the Shelly is right over here. So what she doesn't know is we do have four shots So we can actually kill her fairly easily. We're just gonna go over here and super the safe It looks like the Brock is just gonna go for our or not the Brock Sorry, the bull is gonna go for our safe But what he doesn't realize is that three people do more damage than two people do So we're just doing an unreal amount of damage to our safe jigsaw is gonna super I'm gonna take two, two shots to the safe. He's gonna take one more and that is going to be a quick 30 second win. Now the big key to this was taking out the Shelly as the Shelly does counter Ash and Jigsaw. So we're able to do that very fast and just from there she barely even respawned. She got the kill on Ash but that's all she had time to do and that ended the fourth game. So we're absolutely dominating with this. We're gonna hop into one final game. Hopefully we can go 5-0 on the video. Let's see what we can do. Let's jump right into it. Okay so here we go into the fifth and final game. And we're actually going to be facing one of Brock's biggest counters, which is going to be Nita. Now, early game, she's not really that much of a counter. So if we can get her down early, that would be really, really helpful. But she's really, really good when it comes to late game, where she has her bear all, all the time. It, it gets pretty lethal. So we're able to take out the Shelly. And they don't know about the four shots. So the Nita actually calculated that, it, that she would be able to get that kill. But no, we have the four shots, so it's not going to be able to. Uh, we're able to hit that... Um, the bull twice which is going to be really helpful that doesn't let him heal back up we're going to use our super over here and just try our best to help out with ash as well as doing damage to the save i'm going to try and body block one for jig maybe it wasn't the best idea as we both went down and now we have a bull going up that left side so i'm just going to allow jig to deal with that i'm going to take a shot to the left and jig's basically flashing his uh, super just showing me that he has it under control i'm going to be able to pick up the kill over there on the shelly Gonna get the bolt to one shot and Jig is going to be able to finish him off. Just gonna super the save. Hopefully I get some hits on both the bear and the Nita. Good super over there by Jigsaw. He's gonna be able to pick up one at one kill. As well as take out the bear pretty effectively. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot the save. Just waiting for Ash to rush in at any point. There's 8% left. The game's basically over. It's going to end there, and there's another game that's going to end in about a minute. So anyways, that's going to be the video, guys. I absolutely love the Brock new star power. I think out of all the new star powers from what I've tried so far, it's the second best behind Band-Aid Shelly. So it's super, super good. I would definitely recommend buying it if it's in your shop, as it makes Brock way better. But with that being said, that's going to end the video for today, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the analysis of the Brock star power. That's going to be it. Um... For Wednesdays, well, I guess for this week, because I'm not going to be uploading today. Okay, scratch everything I just said. Just that's going to be it for the Brock. I hope you guys enjoyed. And leave a like if you if you enjoyed the video. That's all I'm going to ask for. So anyways, I'll be back tomorrow with kind of a similar set of video, probably for Poco. But if not, either way, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Love you all. Bye.